Battlefield 3. Every time I hear the name of this game, the feeling of nostalgia absorbs me. When the game was just released in 2011, I remember running back home from school to finally try it out with a few of my friends and shivers were running through my skin when I saw the opening of the game. I can really say I was beyond hyped at that point. And later I remember having the time of my life playing it for hours on end. The game was perfect for me at launch. Gameplay, story, co-op modes and performance on my old PC with an Nvidia GT 630 graphics card. Everything was just great. I kinda miss that. Usually games coming out now are full of bugs and performance issues. Since nowadays the gaming industry looks and feels totally different. I think the only game now that will be able to give me similar hyped up emotions like Battlefield 3 did back in the day is going to be GTA 6. I can definitely say that I am not the only one having those nostalgic feelings when I think about this game. I scoured YouTube and I found tons of positive comments still being left by gamers nowadays. So what made Battlefield 3 so wonderful and why does just thinking about it makes everyone that played the game feel great? We have to start off by talking about the main mode everyone bought the game for, which is multiplayer. I don't know how about you, but in my opinion, Battlefield 3 was probably one of the most, if not the most immersive FPS shooters at the time when it launched. You really felt like a soldier on the battlefield. The sounds, animations, music, everything just looked and felt epic. You had four classes that each of them had their own pros enabling you for different types of gameplay and strategies. Each class had a different set of weapons that you could upgrade with a huge variety of attachments so you could finally hit those shots and increase your KD. Having the options of choosing one of military vehicles to help out the team was definitely a thing helping with the immersion side as well. Tanks, jets, helicopters, transport vehicles, BTRs, anti-air vehicles, you name it, they got it. The variety was crazy. Back in my peak Battlefield 3 days, I used to be that mother in a fighter jet at the top of the match scoreboard that everybody hated on the enemy team. I say that because I also experienced other mother and jets when I was playing infantry or with ground vehicles and no my I hated them. But as they say, if you can't beat them, join them and beat them later. Sorry, I felt like bragging there for a bit. But I think that's what made the multiplayer mode awesome in Battlefield 3. You were always able to find a way or think up a strategy how you could beat a player that is better than you. The huge choice of 15 multiplayer modes were also a very nice addition. But to be honest, most of them were ignored. I remember everyone mainly playing Team Deathmatch, Conquest and Rush game modes. These ones were definitely the most enjoyed by players around the world considering that the servers that are still live now for Battlefield 3 after 13 years consists only of these three modes. Conquest enabled you to a full-fledged battlefield where you had to capture and control the majority of the points on the map in order to win and presented you with an ability to basically choose any vehicle in the game and I think this freedom is what made the mode great for everyone. Rush on the other hand was more strict with a limited amount of vehicles but the game mode itself was just pure fun. Defenders had to defend two points while attackers had to destroy them. If defenders fail, another map section opened up and the fight continued until defenders had nothing to defend or attackers ran out of troops. Honestly, nothing felt better in the game than being able to sneak up on the point as an attacker unseen, put the charge on it and open up with an LMG on all the defenders trying to defuse it. That kind of stuff just felt epic and made you feel like Rabo with his Akimbo 50 cals. Most of the 9 original maps were great too. Some of them were worse than others, like Tehran Highway or Shane Crossing, but they were still very enjoyable, even though some maps were more defender-sided like Operation Metro. The railways and corridors there were just a slaughterhouse. In my opinion, Battlefield 3 multiplayer shined with maps like Caspian Border, Operation Firestorm, Karg Island and... I don't know how to pronounce this, but no Shahar Canals? Some of them were better for modes like Rush and Team Deathmatch, while others for Conquest. No Shahar Canal's Team Deathmatch was and still is a sight to behold and was the best place for everyone to quickly level up their guns to unlock those desired attachments. I think we also saw the first iteration of Levolution in Battlefield 3 map Caspian Border as well when the antenna tower fell near the end of the match. Of course the map change was not triggered by players like in Battlefield 4 
but still, it was very cool at the time and was never seen before. Oh, and the support class having the C4 made so much more sense, didn't it? Why did they change that in Battlefield 4 where it belonged to a sniper? Sadly, I lost access to the account I used to play Battlefield 3 on back in the day, and EA was not able to help me in recovering it. But even on a new account that has no progress and default weapons, the multiplayer is still fun. Even though the people that are playing it are mainly die-hard fans that have been playing it for ages, or just want to get that nostalgia feeling like me. Either way, a fun time can still be had on it, especially with friends. Secondly, there was the linear story mode. Yeah, no war stories are just all-in-all all non-existing story mode. Looking at you, Battlefield 2042. Battlefield 3 story mode was probably one of the best first-person shooter stories that kept me intrigued throughout all of it. It might sound cliche now, where there's a bad guy that has a bomb and you have to stop him. But at the time, such stories were still interesting. Honestly, even now, when I was recording some footage for the video, I found myself saying, okay, one more mission. That definitely says something. Epic moments in the storyline, like demolishing half of the hotel with a rocket launcher, or just being a gunner in a fighter jet, made the story memorable. The story delivery, in my opinion, was also very good. You mostly played Sergeant Blackburn, who was arrested by the CIA and is being interrogated. The cutscenes between the missions are basically happening in the same room and are providing the background of what happened in the past and how Blackburn got here. All the gameplay is basically the recollection of Blackburn's memories that he is telling to those CIA officers. What operations he did and how he found out that there's a nuclear threat for his country and how he planned to stop it. The story was not just a dumb shooter without a point. It had morals, good writing, great characters, and everything else that makes the story feel great and impactful. You ain't gonna believe it, but probably you will. But Battlefield 3 had a co-op mode as well. Back in the day, you could easily find a random player, thanks to public matchmaking, to play those missions. Unfortunately, at the time, probably no one plays co-op mode anymore, because I was trying to get a mission going for around 20 minutes to no avail. As far as I remember, the missions were also interesting and made players cooperate. You had to breach doors together, shoot bad guys together, hell, even fly a helicopter together. There was one bad design decision though, especially if you used to do public matchmaking and you didn't play with friends. That is, if one player leaves or crashes, the other one is forced to do that too and gets kicked from the game and later you have to restart the mission right from the beginning. I wish they would have replaced the other player with the bot or something just to allow me finish the mission. The amount of time I wasted like this back in the day was immense. I was able to revisit a few of the co-op missions thanks to my good friend Bo hopping in to help and I had a blast. And now, let's talk about the things that I hated the most. That is the unnecessary battle log website and punk busted anti-cheat. Even though now I don't mind the battle log website anymore, I do remember it being a pain in the a Multiplayer queues would crash, the battle log website itself would be down and that made everyone not being able to even play the campaign mode because you had to launch everything through the website. Honestly, Battlelog looks just like Facebook for Battlefield players. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone and why someone thought it's a brilliant idea. Battlelog did have its pros too though. You could edit your loadouts straight from the website, get into a party with friends and just connect to the game straight to play. No need to do any setup in game then. But that's where the pros stop in my opinion. The punk busted anti-cheat was another culprit. The amount of times I got kicked from servers due to some punk buster initialization error was crazy. I remember having to reinstall and update it almost every time I had to play the game if I wanted a stress-free gaming session. At least now this part is sorted. No more updates, punk buster I think just ended its lifetime, so you just download the latest version and you're good to go. In my opinion, Battlefield 3 is one of the best battlefields ever developed, if not the best. I haven't played all of them, but I did play Bad Company 2, Battlefield 4, 1 and 5, and I think Battlefield 3 takes the cake. Even though Bad Company 2 probably had the most interesting story out of them all, and also had a pretty good multiplayer mode, the overall package of Battlefield 3 I think still wins due to it being groundbreaking and FPS genre defining game at the time. I also know some people consider Battlefield 4 the best Battlefield ever, but that game had a very rough launch and just because of that I think the third one deserves a win here. It was great right from the beginning. I will always be thankful to Battlefield 3 for making my teenage years a blast and having a huge part in developing the love for video games that I have today. 
What are your thoughts on Battlefield 3? Were you in the same boat as me when the game launched in 2011 and you were having a blast? Do you still come back to the game once in a while to remember the good old days? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like the video, drop a like on it, consider subscribing to the channel as well and share it with anyone who also loved or still loves Battlefield 3. I can definitely say that I will still be jumping back on the game from time to time to get that sense of nostalgia back in me for as long as there will be servers online and players in them. Hopefully, at least for a few more years. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.